the based the hypothesis that this means that there is at least one yet to be discovered planet in the outer reaches of the solar system to this one single intruding planet. Now, one of the things we, we did in 1978, having made this prediction that there was a, an additional planet, 10th or 12th, depending on your point of view, but it's the, the next one, um, we sort of put our money where our mouth was, as it were, and we went out and we started looking for this thing. And, uh, we've been searching for 12 years for this thing. We've been able to refine the search area somewhat, um, get it rather narrowed down. We, we do our predictions based on the observed anomalies in Uranus and Neptune. We actually are currently looking down in the region of Centaurus, which is just south of the, of the constellation Libra. Now, if, if it is in the kind of orbit that we describe here, it would have to be a planet that would have a mass something like three to five times the mass of the Earth. This would put it uh, intermediate between the gaseous planets like Uranus and Neptune and the terrestrial planets that we, we have in the inner part of the solar system. So if, if this planet turns out to be in a 3,600-year orbit, then its, its mass would be correspondingly larger. But we're talking about something that's it's a perfectly reasonable kind of planet. It looks like a good, nice planet. Um, small enough that it's not going to be completely enveloped in gas. It's perfectly capable of supporting uh, life forms of one kind or another. And this here is the orbit that I have proposed for um, the 10th planet. Here's where we think it is right about now in its orbit. This is your orbit for the planet, and that uh, showing that it would come out of Sagittarius in biblical time, and that once you're off for precession, it would be around into Libra by now, which is, again, approximately the area that we're looking at.